Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Oops, uh, House of Fortune and Roses. So this video is going to be for Libra. If you have Libra um, in your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, or Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter sign, this will apply to you. Also, I want to quickly announce uh, that I have personal readings available now. Um, and the link to my Etsy shop, if you want to book a reading with me, is in the description box below. I also have a link to my Etsy shop um, on my homepage. So yeah, if you want a personal reading, check it out. So please take a moment to like, comment, subscribe, share if this video resonates with you. Um, I'd greatly appreciate it. Also, before we dive into the reading, I do have to um, state a very quick disclaimer that all my videos and tarot readings are ultimately for entertainment purposes only. I see both tarot and astrology as just ways to get to know yourself better. Okay, so with that, let's jump into an oracle card to highlight the overarching, overarching theme here. Let's see, what do we have for my wonderful Librans? Let's see. Oh, wow, look at this, you guys. So festive. So we have new moon beginnings, and we also have this duality with the two um, tigers, which is so Libra. Um, with new beginnings, this is um, an interesting energy. It's almost like with all the red and everything, it's kind of reminding me of Aries as well. So it's almost like the coming together of yourself um, as a Libra entity and also Aries, which is like your opposite sign. So I'm getting like this theme of balance, okay? Um, and somehow there is this trajectory into new beginnings, new moon new beginnings new starts um something new let's see what you're up to okay so here we have the four of swords yeah this is um you know after a long period i'm getting a feeling a little bit stuck or feeling like a little bit of writer's block or creative block those of you guys who are either writers or creatives um, I'm going to hear that you guys are finally, you know, deciding to move forward, like to start something new, to go somewhere new. Uh, yeah, we have the Five of Swords. It's like leaving behind. And then we have, oh my gosh. So we have this woman in the red dress and then we have another woman in a red dress. I don't know why. This is like, I, yeah, and he's also wearing red. There's like some theme around the color red. So some of you guys, you might be seeing the color red around you a lot or um red dresses something about a red dress i don't know maybe some of you guys are going to get yourself a red dress somebody might gift you a red dress or maybe something's telling you like hey maybe you should get a red dress um either for the holidays there's a lot of holiday things um coming up but you know this is a timeless video so yeah maybe you clicked on this video and it's just kind of a hint from the universe to um try wearing red um maybe even like red lipstick but mostly i'm getting like just a red dress literally pictured here um or the energy of red which is kind of um definitely more bold than usual um it really is reminding me a little more of your opposite sign which is aries so that's interesting um let's see what do we got oh my gosh speaking of red we have a lot of red going on in this reading we have a red bird um and then we have the hanged man so yeah, it's almost as if a lot of you Libras are sacrificing your old self, okay, to step into a new beginning. Because the Five of Swords, I mean, this is this looks like a positive card um, image. The image itself is positive, but the meaning of Five of Swords is walking away. Well, not necessarily walking away, but um, kind of picking up the pieces after period of maybe i don't know some of you guys you might have been going through a bout of depression um not necessarily anything serious but you know it happens to the best of us it happens to everyone you know those periods of time where uh, maybe this even has to do with the pandemic where you felt so used to being stuck at home or just um kind of in an introverted uh, sort of like a state and now you're finally um feeling inspired to go out and be really really sociable again or maybe something happened like a breakup or I don't know something something where I don't know you, just, you felt like maybe like a little period of being stagnant but I'm get, feeling that a lot of you guys are getting unstuck for sure because literally this is a card of 
um, image of movement, um, traveling. I mean, the hanged man isn't necessarily um, the card of travel. I mean, it's, it's, it's the card of Pisces, but, um, and sacrifice. So like I said, it's like sacrificing your old self, old way of being, which is like the sort of stuck, um, stagnant energy, maybe even a boredom, you know, where you're kind of like, um, maybe after a while you started desiring change. Um, but I see you heading towards that change. I see travel for sure. Some of you guys, you may be traveling to new places, um, maybe even trying out like a different route going to new environments that you haven't been before. A lot of you guys will be traveling though or flying somewhere um, on an airplane. I'm getting somewhere new. Literally, we have new beginnings. Some of you guys, you're going to be, I don't know if many of you will be moving, but I am getting that you will be traveling and visiting um, a lot of places, um, maybe friends, family, okay? And you'll be very inspired by this. Speaking of which, oh my gosh, we have more red and more themes of travel so we have the eight of cups or leaving a certain situation leaving a stagnant situation behind okay i'm also for some reason seeing here this image of like this imagery of or themes of a libra or somebody um deciding to leave a stagnant situation this could be a stagnant environment relationship anything that just made you feel stuck or stagnant and deciding to deciding to grab a hold of change to actually take action towards change this could even be as simple as i'm going to start going to you know these new environments and networking more or i'm going to travel to this place that i've always wanted to go um you know because my friend invited me to travel with them or I'm going to visit family in this um, other country or, you know, other city even um, that I've always wanted to visit. And you know what? I'm just going to do it. Maybe after a period of not really traveling or um, being as social, okay? And this is a positive thing. Um, and this might even be the beginnings or the heralding of literally like a new way of life. Like you're finally, I think you guys are finally feeling like yourself again. After a long while, um, you guys are feeling energized again. If you're not feeling that way, you will be feeling that way, especially within the next few months or so. You're going to start feeling more energized, like the itch to like go out and be social and travel and see new things, go to new environments, meet new people, things like that. So I really love this for you guys. Um, Page of Pentacles. Some of you guys, you may be... Actually, you might be... Taking on new projects at work, like literally the page of pentacles, that's usually what it means, is um, new projects at work, new work opportunities, even things on the side. Um, you know, somebody may ask you, hey, can you um, do this little thing, um, you know, a skill that you're good at as like a side hustle even. This doesn't have to be like your main um, source of income, like your main job. Um, but maybe somebody's like, hey, can you do this for me? I can pay you. Um, and you take that on and that opens doors to starting your own like small little business, right? Um, this could even be like maybe you're really great at um, taking like vintage clothes. I mean, because all this like red imagery reminds me of like a red dress or like a red, something to do with red, um, like a bold clothes. I don't know why that's what's coming through. Um, bold garments, ex you know, self-expression through what you're wearing. So some of you guys, you might be into fashion design or design in general. Um, maybe you're creative or you like creating beautiful things, whatever that might be. This could even be, you know, like I said, like uh, repurposing or uh, taking like vintage clothes and um, like making it over or something. Um, and somebody's like, hey, can you, um, you know, sort of like redesign, like take apart this dress and like design it. You know, maybe some of you guys, you know, quite, you're quite talented. Maybe you, you are um, talented in fashion design. And, you know, it could really be anything or somebody asking you, hey, can you, um, can you kind of, you know, change up my wedding dress? Like, um, you know, it could be vintage, but, you know, maybe update it a little bit, like those kind of things. And they're like, I can pay you. Maybe they're just like a friend or like a family member, but they're like, um, I'll pay you to do it. And then it becomes like a side hustle um, where they recommend you to somebody else and so on and so forth. And now you have like this side business where you, um, uh, what is it? Um, 
I want to say reinvent. I don't really know what the term is, but uh, where you like upgrade people's clothes. Um, I guess it's kind of like being a designer of sorts, right? Or when somebody is like, hey, can you take this like old vintage uh, garment and, you know, reinvent it, like update it, um, make it more beautiful. Um, okay, so bottom of the deck, um, wow. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Libra. This is you, Libra. So we have the card of justice. I haven't actually seen this card pop up. Um, but for you, Libra, obviously the card of Libra will pop up randomly, which it hasn't yet until now. Um, so yeah, this image of you having choices, I don't know why that's coming through. Like you are finally being presented with choices, with invitations, with offers of kind of, like I said, after a little stint of feeling stagnant or feeling like, I am bored out of my mind. I don't know why that's what I'm getting when I look at this um, image of the Four of Swords. Almost like a, almost like a, not a coma, that's kind of drastic, but I mean like a mental kind of a period of um, being switched off, okay? When I look at the Four of Swords. And, but yeah, I mean, look at all this red, vitality, energy, um, yeah, I mean, you're getting up from your slumber, you're deciding, I want to go here, I want to go there, I want to check out these new places, travel, meet new people, try new things, explore the world again, and you're doing that again, because Libras, I mean, you do have an introverted side, but at the same time, some of you guys are extremely social, like social butterflies, um, I think of Libra, so you're spreading your wings, and you're starting to have fun in your element again, which maybe you haven't done that in a while, um, and with the Page of Pentacles, some of you guys, like I said, um, be on the lookout for new opportunities when it comes to um, your income. Like, even at work, like new projects being thrown your way, offers, like, you know, small opportunities. Maybe somebody says, you know, like at work, like somebody who's pretty high up, they're like, oh, I could really use some help on this. Or, man, I really wish I had, you know, uh, like, a, like somebody who can... Um, what is it? Uh, take care of this for me. That's an opportunity right there. You don't have to wait until they ask. You can literally just offer like, oh, I can do that for you. Or, you know, I can help you with that. And suddenly that becomes like, you know, maybe even like a full fledged project and you are assigned as the lead, right? Of that project. Or you just, you know, could be as simple as winning brownie points, um, with this person. So yeah, just, uh, be open to accepting help as well as helping others. Because I do see this theme of you, like people coming along who want to help you, like get to new places, especially um, some of you guys, you might even, I don't know why this is so random, but some of you guys, you might even win a trip somewhere and you've always wanted to go on this trip. Um, like out of the blue, like you might even want to like enter those kind of, um, competitions but be aware of scams because there's a lot of scams going on lately just um yeah just have to throw that in but yeah some of you guys you might be offered a trip or something or somebody like invites you somewhere and they're like um yeah like I'll cover you know a place to stay like all of that like I'll take care of like um you know what you'll eat and everything you just have to like literally get your butt over here <laughs> you know like an old friend or family member who just happened to like um move to this place that you've always wanted to go and they're like you should come like just go you know embrace new opportunities right now okay that is what the universe is channeling towards you i mean looking at these cards clearly also there's um like a energy of vitality transformation when it comes to um like i said new beginnings um new energy new places um you're feeling excited about things again excited about the word new, like new things, um, new environments, especially. And, um, yeah, with this card, uh, you guys are suddenly getting more choices. Like I said, more invitations to places, more opportunities. Um, maybe even the page of pentacles, um, can signify like a new job opportunity coming in, um, because you just happen to, yeah, I mean, looking at this, you know, on the flip side, it can literally be like you were bored AF at your job, and you're just like, I am so drained and I really, I'm not learning anything anymore and I'm ready to bounce. And 
suddenly, okay, like in this realization, you're like, um, oh, there's an ad, you know, like maybe this rider on the horse is like an uh, advertisement for like a job or something. And it really looks like something that you, you know, it catches your eye and you happen to apply and that takes off right with wings and then carries you towards a different path i mean literally like the cards just speak for themselves um you know carries you on this uh, beautiful path towards um like a new job literally with page of pentacles and um where you're excited again about what you're doing where you feel excited to show up every day um, you know, you're excited about the people that you're meeting, the things that you're doing, the projects that you're taking on, and you also feel like you have uh, more freedom of choice is what I'm getting for some reason when I look at this justice card, but definitely new moon beginnings. There's a lot of new beginnings happening for you. Some of them, they may not be like huge new beginnings, but it's just like little things that lead to um, bigger opportunities is what I'm getting, like small steps leading to much bigger things. In a positive way um and yeah there's something to do with the color red some of you guys you might want to experience uh, experiment with red with the color red like maybe red hair like maybe you always want to dye your hair red like you know wearing a red dress red lipstick red yeah red it's just coming through or if you have to choose a color for something um I don't know, for, for a gift or, you know, gift, what is it, gift wrapping paper. And you're like, gee, I don't know which color to choose. And red is an option. Choose red. <laughs> I don't know why that's what I'm getting. Red is, um, red is coming through. Also red shoes. Because I see like a lot of movement. Um, a lot of, yeah, a lot of movement uh, in these cards. And the color red literally with new beginnings. So much red. So yeah, red shoes. It kind of reminds me of Dorothy. In the Wizard of Oz and her like red glittery shoes. I mean, those would make some cute flats. Yeah, like red, red flats. Sounds cute. Um, okay, so we have the Fool. Yeah, um, clarifying the Five of Swords. So I'm getting, yeah, jumping into new things. Something's either pushing you to, or you just feel intuitively like, okay, I'm finally ready for something new. Okay, after a period of just feeling like stuck, uh, like I mentioned earlier. Knight of Cups, yeah, with the um, Eight of Cups. You guys are uh, feeling inspired to chase a dream again. To, you know, energize towards things that you enjoy doing again. You know, after a period of ugh, being either bored or stagnant or stuck. Um, temperance, okay. So we also have uh, the card of Balance under or clarifying the justice card so i think this is also just um you know a piece of advice to to just be balanced right because you're going to have so many choices coming your way libra that you haven't maybe had in like a really long time <clears throat> a really long time maybe even like the past you know six months to a year you guys have been feeling a little I don't know it's just it's almost like this energy of not much movement in your life but I think it's like a lot of people have been going through that because of you know what's going on lately the state of the economy inflation and all that stuff so it's not just you guys um, but I am seeing things picking up especially within the next few months lots of movement and you're going to be presented with so many choices in multiple areas of your life that um so many choices that you're not really going to know um what to choose so um here it is saying take your time when choosing because temperance is the card of like taking your time like tempering um your choice is tempering your next step and also being patient you know if an answer is not clear like don't rush it um just don't be afraid to be patient weigh out your options um, but that's also different from falling into analysis paralysis, which I know Libras are known to do sometimes. Um, just saying. But you guys can definitely, yeah, learn to balance the mind. Um, if you're trying to choose, okay, this is an example. If you're trying to choose between three choices, okay, whether that's travel plans, um, maybe even job offers, Maybe what should I wear, okay, to this um, holiday party? It could really be anything. First of all, this is telling you to choose the color red. <laughs> Secondly, um, you can make 
you know, like a pros and cons list for each choice, like uh, write out the choices under each choice, write the pros and cons. Um, and that should really narrow it down. Mm. Like look for the one with the most prawns, or it's prawns, <laughs> not shrimp, um, pros versus cons. It's so weird how I combined pros and cons together to prawns, but anyways. Okay, so, um, we also have the king of pentacles, yeah. So you guys are going to be getting a lot of ideas and opportunities when it comes to growing your career, but I'm also getting like growing your skill set, growing something that you're passionate about, passionate about, and then being able to monetize on these things for sure is coming through. So I'm really loving this energy for you guys. Um, speaking of which, let's actually pull a uh, career card for you to see what's popping popping up in that area of your life since it came through. Oh my god, you guys, you can't write this. You know when the whole reading is summarized by a random card that you choose? Okay, so we have movement. You'll make good progress now and you will be able to overcome any obstacles in your path. Big leaps forward are possible. So yeah, we have movement again and um, with this whole like movement, um, new beginnings, uh, deciding to, you know, take your, um, what is it, self to new environments, um, traveling, uh, movement, uh, maybe even quick movement. Um, it really is very, um, what is it? Uh, oh my gosh, suddenly I had a brain freeze. Okay. But it really is well represented by this horse that's literally galloping on its way. Um, when I look at the horse, I think of Aries, which once again, it was like, I was mentioning that at the very beginning, the opposite of you on the astrology wheel. Some of you guys, it's like you're taking on the traits of Aries, which is kind of interesting because literally it is um, the exact opposite of you on the astrology wheel. But um, yeah, energy of movement, of not necessarily being impulsive, but being definitely being more impulsive for a Libra. Um, you know, just kind of going with your gut instinct and just taking action rather than, you know, overthinking, um, not being afraid of ex exploration, of movement, movement, of um, galloping towards what feels right um, without questioning things or without too much, once again, like being too um, cautious. I mean, caution is good, obviously. There has to be a balance, especially with temperance. Um, but there is this kind of nudge to be more bold, be more courageous. Uh, I don't want to say be risky. I, I hate that term, like taking risks. I don't know. Like people are like, oh yeah, you should take risks. But I mean, it's the word risks literally means like doing something without you know, the, without thinking too much of the consequences, right? So, I mean, you want to take, like, I want to say, like, measured risks where you do, like, you know, weigh out the pros and cons first and then you're like, okay, that sounds reasonable and not dangerous. And then you want to, like, you know, move towards that as well as, um, it also kind of reminds me, the horse reminds me of Sagittarius, obviously. So, um, Sagittarius totally reminds me of traveling. So, yeah, I mean, I can't, um, emphasize this enough some of you guys are really going to be traveling a lot um especially in the next year okay 2024 but this is a timeless uh reading so you know whatever next year or you know means for you or next few months to a year um a lot of you guys yeah you are going to be traveling maybe saving up to travel because you you know finally taking that trip abroad that you've always wanted to take um i see that at first, you're like, okay, I really want to go to this place. And you're just like saving up and just kind of um, maybe putting it in the back burner. Ooh. And then I see that somewhere along the way, like an opportunity is going to drop in where it becomes much easier for you and um, faster for you to get to this place. Um, whether that be exploring new places, new environments, new ideas, all the new things. Um also, I'm getting that somebody might even take you, like gift you a trip. Like they want to take you somewhere, right? And they'll cover it. 
I don't know why that's what I'm getting like it just happens to be like a really serendipitous um lucky kind of situation where you will get sudden opportunities to travel more for sure so this is really yeah this is really fun and really I have to say uh this energy feels very rewarding especially after this one card depicting um you know that period uh how you know um however brief it was of yeah feeling really stuck and just kind of like you're not really like moving when it comes to um your life progress um so here we have ascension okay we have you rise to the highest spiritual pinnacle some of you guys you may even be speaking of traveling and then we have the combination of all this travel imagery and then this ascension card some of you guys you might be taking like a um going on a spiritual retreat or getting more into you know these kind of things like spiritual um practices like yoga like meditation um maybe you're just getting more into wellness in general and in doing so you're blossoming um as a person you know to be more well you're becoming more well-rounded um maybe more confident about taking risks um in a measured way still um and also um it's kind of opening you up to yeah for some of you guys i'm getting like new love is coming in because like literally look at this image where um it's when you kind of least expect it it kind of comes in and it kind of it literally sweeps you off your feet because look at this card i mean this person is being swept off their feet literally um and then you might even meet somebody who really loves to travel and so that might actually be confirmation or maybe even it rings a bell right now already some of you guys you might um, bond with somebody over travel or maybe you're not even the type to really enjoy traveling or exploring new things or trying new things very much but it's like you meet someone um or you rekindle something with someone who encourages you to try new things to travel to um seek out new environments and um yeah it just helps you ultimately to enjoy new things it doesn't necessarily have to be travel you know it can be like trying you know that new coffee shop you know down the street that opened up or um you know trying a new kind of cuisine like that's kind of adventurous for you that you'd never try um you know, just trying, trying, just seeking out new experiences. And at first you might be like a little bit cautious or afraid, but I'm seeing here that, um, just follow your intuition. It's like, Ooh, I kind of want to try this, but I don't know. I like, don't talk yourself out of it. Definitely, um, take the chance. Okay. I mean, this horse is so like, look how bold and confident this horse is. So that's the energy that I'm definitely, getting will serve you okay especially the next few months to a year libra so like comment subscribe share if this video resonated with you guys and i just want to remind you that i have personal readings available now finally um and the link to my etsy shop is in the description box below so if you want to book a personal reading with me um just go to the link to my etsy shop um that link is also in on my homepage as well so i'll see you guys later libra love and light